right so next one is so how uh, we can identify one image so mechanism of vision the light reflected from an object and enters uh, the eye through cornea and lens focus on retina disassociation of uh, retinol from opsin changes in membrane permeability generates potential differences or impulse in the photoreceptor cells rods and cones generates action potential in ganglion cells through bipolar cells impulses are transmitted by optic nerve to brain visual cortex and impulses are analyzed and thing and the image is recognized based on earlier memory and experience that is vision right so here light reflected uh, reflected from an object so from an object light is reflected on where reflected on the region of a cornea enters uh, through the lens uh, and enters the eye through the cornea and lens focus on retina so whenever light focus on the retina immediately dissociation of uh, retinol from opsin structure opsin and retinol structure is changed and changes in membrane permeability it creates uh, the change of structure creates membrane permeability generates action potential differences impulse in uh, photoreceptor cells that is rods and cones and generates action potential in ganglion cells uh, photoreceptor cells uh, attached with ganglion cells ganglion cells are attached with the bipolar cells through bipolar cells impulses are transmitted by optic nerves to from the optic nerve emerged out uh, in the region of blind spot so these optic nerves uh, extends up to the region of brain that is visual cortex and impulses are analyzed and the image is recognized based on the earlier memory and experience so whenever uh, uh, there is one flower we can identify it is a flower how it is because of uh, already in your memory in your memory the flower is memorized it this name is this thing name is flower this name the thing name is pen like that right based on the memory the uh, vision should be takes place right so this is regarding about uh, mechanism of vision so next one is ear <coughs> structure of ear a stato acoustic organ right stato acoustic organ so stability and the uh, ear not only meant for uh, hearing audible audibility and uh, along with that the stability uh, the stability of the body also the body balance also which is maintained by the ear it is the organ for hearing and balancing so ear is the organ for hearing majorly and for the balancing also and it has three divisions external ear middle ear and inner ear so ear has three divisions external and middle and inner ear portions right and ear and uh, labeling also most important once you go through the labeling uh, pinna external outermost ear layer is pinna and uh, external auditory canal external auditory meatus tympanic membrane malus incus stapes three ear ossicles cochlea cochlear nerve in the inner ear cochlea cochlear nerve this is used to attach in tube and uh, temporal bone so this one is temporal bone skull bone temporal bone right okay so here uh, consist of a uh, pinna so external ear external ear consist of ear pinna so ear trumpet it is called trumpet uh, and ear lobe and auditory meter sectional auditory canal at opening of ear canal haze are seen so somebody have haze in this uh, ear so ear canal uh, and skin of pinna contains uh, seduminous glands modified sweat glands they secrete wax so in the region of ear canal uh, it secrete wax this is called seduminous glands For, by the seduminous gland wax sebum secretes right wax and hair protect the ears from the foreign objects so both wax and hair presence of hair it protects the uh, foreign object centers inside the ear right ear canal ends in tympanic membrane uh, are also called tympanum or our um, uh, eardrum it is semi transparent membrane covered by the thin layer of skin uh, on its outer surface and by mucous membrane on inside right so there is a tympanic membrane is presented right as tympanic membrane are also called tympanum or eardrum it is a semi transparent membrane covered by the thin layer of skin on its outer surface and a mucous membrane inside inside mucous and outer side skin is presented that is tympanum right so whenever tympanum receives the sound vibrations from the external ear up to this clear okay so next one the middle ear region consists of tympanic cavity and ear ossicles in the middle ear tympanic cavity and ear ossicles air filled cavity so this is inner ear is fluid filled cavity middle ear is air filled cavity 
so consists of tympanic cavity and ear ossicles ear ossicles are presented uh, so in this order only you should remember malus incus and stapes first malus which is attaches tympanic membrane middle incus and stapes attached with the oval window right you need to remember right this order only an auditory tube eustachian canal eustachian canal connects middle ear to the pharynx right there is a eustachian tube is presented middle ear to pharynx it maintains an equal pressure on either side of eardrum so eustachian tube function maintains equal pressure on either side of eardrum so ear ossicle includes three small bones namely malus incus and stapes malus is attached to the tympanum so the malus is attached to the tympanum and incus middle bone and stapes is attached to the inner ear oval window and stapes is the smallest bone of the body and it is attached to the membrane of our uh, oval window that is called as fenestra ovalis of inner ear after this clear right and in the inner ear uh, inner ear portion is the most important inner ear majorly meant for what purpose hearing and body balance right so in the inner ear there is a bony labyrinth and a membranous labyrinth there is a two labyrinths are presented so labyrinth is nothing but a cavity so there is bony and membranous labyrinths are presented so bony labyrinth cavity filled with perilymph and the membranous labyrinth consists with the cochlea and vestibular apparatus right so in the notes i clearly given just go through the notes you can easily understood what is labyrinth so what is the different types of labyrinth and how it is arranged right so the bony labyrinth and the membranous labyrinth here uh, uh, the membranous labyrinth consists of cochlea and vestibular apparatus right so cochlea and vestibular apparatus right so cochlea is majorly meant for uh, vis, uh, majorly meant for uh, auditory and vestibular apparatus majorly meant for body balance right and next one cochlea the organ of hearing right in the inner ear which portion which is helpful uh, organ of hearing which is helpful for hearing that is cochlea okay right and bony labyrinth cavity filled with the perilymph and between the bony and membranous labyrinth what is presented endolymph is presented okay you should need to remember and next one <coughs> uh inner ear uh, it is a coiled structure having three canals upper scala vestibule cochlea cochlea in the inner ear cochlea it is a coiled structure having three canals upper scala vestibule middle scala media and lower scala tympani there is three canals are presented in the region of uh, cochlea so upper canal is called scala vestibule middle canal is called scala media and lower is called scala tympani scala vestibule and scala media are separated by the resinous membrane this diagram also most important very very important for objective purpose scala vestibule and scala media are separated by the resinous membrane the membrane which is presented between scala vestibule and scala media is called resinous membrane and scala media and scala tympani are separated by basilar membrane between the membrane presented between scala media and uh, scala tympani that is called as uh, basilar membrane so this one is scala tympani scala media and scala this one is scala vestibuli scala media scala tympani right so how you remember this is media and uh, scala middle presented so that it is scala media and upper portion scala vestibule and lower region is scala tympani okay and this membrane is resinous membrane and this membrane is basilar membrane okay right scala vestibule and scala tympani are filled with uh, perilymph and scala media is filled with endolymph so scala vestibule and scala tympani filled with what perilymph so scala media which is filled with endolymph because it is a membranous labyrinth okay so here given right bony labyrinth is cavity filled with perilymph so bony labyrinth cavity filled with perilymph okay so scala vestibule and uh, scala tympani both are bony labyrinth and this one is membranous labyrinth means membranous labyrinth which is covered by the bony labyrinth uh, once go through the notes you can understood uh, you can uh, uh, once refer